So line 8A, net operating loss NOL deduction. Enter on line 8A, any NOL deduction from an earlier year. Enter the amount in the pre-printed parentheses as a negative number. The amount of your deduction will be subtracted from the other amounts of income listed on lines uh, 8B through 8Z. Public, you can see publication 536 for more details. So if we have a net operating loss, we talked about losses a bit, meaning that like if you had a Schedule C, for example, and you had more expenses than income, that's quite common for startup type of businesses. The IRS is gonna be quite skeptical of losses because what, what does the IRS want? They want you to make income so they could take part of it, right? If you have a loss, they don't wanna take, they don't wanna take on the risk of your business losses. They just want the benefit of the business gains, right? So they're gonna be skeptical of the losses. So it's possible that you can write off uh, the losses because you would think that in a startup business, that you should get some tax benefit for the losses because that's your investment that was necessary in order to increase income in future years so so then they might limit the losses right if they limit the losses then you got to see okay is there some way i can get a tax benefit from the losses that were that were limited possibly carrying them forward if you have a situation where there's losses being carried forward or something like that that's more complex from a tax preparation standpoint so you're going to want to most likely anytime there's more complex situation i would take the tax return from the prior year if i had a new client and enter that into the prior year software so i can roll over all the information from the prior year software so that the the rollover of the losses if will properly roll over as well and hopefully be populated properly in the system if you have a continuing client then again the software is quite useful if you're using the same software it can help you to kind of analyze what the software is doing with the rollover and then see if it's an appropriate appropriate thing and explain it to a client as well as yourself so line 8b gambling so enter line 8b any gambling winnings gambling winnings include lotteries raffles a lump sum payment from the sale of a right to receive future lottery payments etc for details on gambling losses see the instructions for schedule a line 16 so gambling is often one of those areas where people have questions right they're going to say like if they, if you have a someone that gambles a lot like it's just like their hobby then they're pretty aware most likely of the rules related to gambling which is basically the the winnings that you're going to get if they're over a certain amount once again the government will often pressure say a casino or the horse track or whatever to uh, give give a give documentation of the income and so they're going to have the income then that you're you're generally going to have to report uh, and then uh, on the on the can i deduct something well usually most gamblers aren't going to say it's a schedule c business because it's not their main business or anything like that so you don't really have the losses there so the only other place you might be able to deduct losses would be on the schedule a but the losses are severely limited to be able to deduct unlike they would be if it was like a business because first you have to be able to itemize to take the deductions and most people don't itemize and then and then also you're limited to taking the losses up to the amount of the gambling uh winnings so you don't have this situation where you can have more losses than winnings which would be like subsidizing you know a gambling habit or hobby so that kind of uh makes sense so the losses are are severely limited to how much you could take opposed to the winnings obviously if you deal with non-gamblers that went to a casino and they just won a car or something like they just won a prize all of a sudden they are often hit suddenly with the fact that they've got this big win and that could have a significant impact on their on their taxes because of the progressive tax system if they take all of that windfall profit you know all that big gain in one year then it's going to increase their tax rates and oftentimes if it's a physical thing like a car they got or even if it's money they spend it all and they don't realize the tax bill that's also why you might end up with situations where if they give you an annuity or if they can pay it out over a long period of time you know into the future or have a lump sum today there's a couple things to take into consideration one is the time value of money so and so obviously a lump sum today is worth more than an annuity that if they were for the same total dollar amount but also there's a tax implication because if you get this big hit in one tax year 
then your 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 taxable rates will go up as well. Whereas if you were to get less money over a longer period of time, then you might have lower tax brackets. But in any case, tip. tip. Attach forms W2G to form 1040 or 1040SR if any federal income tax was withheld. 